In this video, we will be going over ethics part three. There is a part one and a part two. This is about ethical dilemmas, particularly the unsafe provider. There will be eight questions. I will read the question to you. You get to take a minute to think of your answer. Then I will read the four options, and then we will discuss which answer is best. If you need more information around this concept, you can look at your legal, ethical, leadership, foundations, fundamentals, areas of your nursing resources to find more information. Let's get started. Question number one. A nurse accidentally makes a medication error. The nurse knows the proper note to write in the chart is, is it number one, medication ordered, medication given, and the medication error form was filled out. Number two, medication ordered, medication given, and provider notified. Number three, medication given, the patient response, provider made aware, or no note is actually required, only the medication error form should be filled out and given to the nurse manager. The answer here is number three. So in this case, the nurse is the unsafe provider. And as an unsafe provider, it is important for us as the nurse to write ourselves up. We have to write up that med error form. We do have to tell on ourselves, tell the nurse manager, and we have to let the doctor know. However, we don't have to incriminate ourselves in the patient's chart. We don't want to establish a paper trail either. So instead, we just want to document the facts of what happened and not really point out that a medication error was caused. So in this case, it's number three. We state what the medication was that we gave, how the patient responded. Yes, you need to follow up and do an assessment and that the provider was made aware. And then of course, anything maybe that the doctor did um, as far as assisting in that case as well. Question number two. A nurse observes another nurse remove narcotics from the narcotic machine and quickly ingest the medication. What should the nurse do? Would you, number one, inform the nurse manager? Number two, confront the nurse about what you saw. Number three, inform the doctor. Number four, relieve the nurse of patient duties, which would basically be covering or taking over the assignment. And the answer here is number four. The duty here is to protect the patient from unsafe providers and the nurse is an unsafe provider taking narcotics. And therefore it is your duty to go over the legal obligation is to protect the patient. So you go over and you say, I'm taking your assignment from you. And they'll probably say, why are you taking my assignment? And you say, come with me to the nurse manager's office. So you are being confrontative, but it's not for discipline. It's not to do number two, which is to tell them what you saw. That's not what you're doing. You're just saying, I've got your patients right now. And then that way you're keeping the patients safe. That is your goal. A lot of people will pick number one and form the nurse manager. Think about as you're going to try to find that nurse manager, what could that nurse be doing? And if you are witnessing an unsafe provider and you're not protecting the patients, you can actually get in trouble too. So this, the rest of these questions are gonna be about, can you recognize when it's an unsafe provider and that you're gonna to need to intervene? Or are they not an unsafe provider and maybe it can just be a teaching moment or a moment where yes, you would go ahead and just tell the nurse manager because they're not unsafe at the time. So let's look at the next question. Question number three. A nurse observes another nurse remove narcotics from the narcotic machine and quickly put them in her pants pocket. What should the nurse do? Should you one, inform the nurse manager, two, confront the nurse about what you saw, three, inform the doctor, or four, relieve the nurse of patient duties? So in this case, because the nurse didn't take it, but just stole it and put it in her pants pocket, that's different. The nurse here is not unsafe, but she is stealing. So in this case, we don't have to take over her assignment, but yes, we can go ahead and pick number one, which is to inform the nurse manager. Question number four. A nurse overhears a tech tell a patient that the glucose stick will not hurt. The nurse knows this is not true. What should the nurse do?
would you, number one, go in the room and tell the patient it will hurt? Number two, wait for the tech to come out of the room and teach the tech about glucose sticks. Three, relieve the tech and perform the procedure instead. Four, tell the nurse manager. So in this case, we hear this going on and what should we do? This is not an unsafe provider. And even though it might hurt the patient, it's not going to harm them. There's a difference. And so we're going to wait. We're not going to embarrass that tech in front of them. We're going to wait and become a teaching moment and tell the tech, hey, you might not want to say that because, you know, sometimes it can hurt and it probably will hurt. So that's all we would need to do. And therefore, the answer was number two. Number five, a nurse practitioner has ordered a stat medication for a patient. The nurse looks up the medication, finds the order is unsafe, and informs the provider. The nurse practitioner insists that the nurse give the medication as ordered. What should the nurse do? Would you, number one, give the medication as ordered? Two, ask the patient if he wants the medication. Three, refuse to give the medication and inform the charge nurse of the situation. Number four, tell the provider it will be given, but then circle the medication as omitted on the medication administration record. The answer here, what we should do, is that if you know the medication is unsafe and should not be given, do not give it despite being ordered to. So the answer is number three, refuse to give the medication and inform the charge nurse. Never give an unsafe order. So for further learning here, sometimes it is important to be conf confrontative when it involves patient safety. You never have to do anything that you feel is unsafe or might harm the patient. And in fact, um, some people you might wanna pull in besides the charge nurse here is you can always call your pharmacist. Sometimes they have new information on a medication. You can always call them too to kind of back you up or to ask them if you're not sure as well. Number six. The doctor comes to the floor smelling of alcohol. The doctor is seen writing orders in the patient's chart. What should the nurse do? Would you, one, inform the charge nurse and call the doctor on call or the doctor's team member for orders? Number two, follow the orders written. Number three, report the doctor to the legal office. Number four, confront the doctor and tell the provider to leave the unit. So the thought here is that you have an unsafe provider, in this case, the form of a doctor, and you're never supposed to take orders from an unsafe provider, someone under the influence. So the goal here is to get somebody who is not intoxicated or doesn't smell of alcohol to cover for the patient and give you orders. And therefore, number one was your answer. So it, you know, there's a, there's a fine line between confronting the situation versus actually confronting what people are doing. Confronting the situation with the goal of patient safety in mind is where we need to be going with these answers. And our role isn't to be their boss. Their team member will take that up. Your role is to focus on making sure that patient is safe. Number seven. A nurse arrives for day shift but forgot his prescription glasses. What should the charge nurse do? Would you, number one, tell the nurse he needs to stay and work? Number two, tell the nurse to go home and get his glasses? Number three, do nothing unless the nurse asks for assistance? Or number four, write up the nurse for unprofessionalism? So this is another example of an unsafe nurse but just in a different way. He needs his prescription glasses. So the charge nurse should do number two, cover for the nurse so he can go home and get his glasses. So the idea here is that we can cover for each other. Covering the nurse's assignment is appropriate in cases like this or in cases like maybe the nurse needs to leave the floor to go on a break, to go to lunch, to um, take a patient to a test or if they need to go to the bathroom or something, it's it's okay to cover for each other. I wouldn't even say like the charge nurse has to necessarily be the one covering here. The charge nurse should be involved in the decision, but cover for each other, make sure the patients always have a nurse on the floor responsible for them. Eight, a nurse observes a new graduate nurse performing a sterile dressing. 
The nurse observes the new graduate don clean gloves to remove the old dressing, remove the gloves to make the sterile field, and then don sterile gloves to put on the new dressing. What should the observing nurse do? Should you, one, praise the nurse for good technique, number two, stop the nurse before the nurse makes the sterile field and tell her to wash her hands, number three, remind the nurse to use gloves to make the sterile field next time, number four, let the nurse manager know. The answer here is number two. So in this question, it was actually the fact that when the nurse takes off the clean gloves, the nurse should hand wash right there before making the sterile field. And the new graduate did not. And so the thought was, if you see this happen, you need to intervene because this is now an unsafe provider and there's a risk of infection since that nurse didn't wash hands or hand sanitize before, after taking off the old gloves. And therefore we have to, to stop the nurse. So just remember to, um, you know, it's a good idea to know when to hand sanitize. Hand sanitize before you do your procedure, after removing any old dressing or gloves, and then before leaving the room. So before we finish this up, I have a question. How many of you actually chose number two to stop the nurse and tell her to wash your hands, but didn't stop that nurse a little while ago that took narcotics? So it's kind of interesting sometimes what we're doing on our heads. We'll stop somebody for not washing their hands, but we won't stop somebody from taking care of patients who's under the influence. So just make sure to stay consistent. Always intervene with an unsafe provider. That's it. Hope you enjoyed these questions on ethical dilemmas and the unsafe provider. Hopefully there was enough examples that you have a better idea of when you need to intervene and when you don't. If you like this content and critically thinking through these questions, subscribe to this channel for more, and you can always find us at signstrategies.com.